Hi, I'd like to show you the SP 12 volt battery analyzer with built in printer. Fantastic bit of gear. There's no batteries inside this unit, it's self powered off of the car battery when you connect. You can't hurt the unit if you connect it to the wrong polarity here, then it just won't power up. Best off is if you remove the terminal from the positive just so that the battery is isolated from the rest of the car system that way we're not getting any drainage off of any other pieces of equipment that may be left on. In this case here once a unit's powered then we press the enter button and it gives us a list of different tests that we can do. We can do a battery test, a cranking test, a charging test. Uh, if you want to select you use the up or down button here to scroll through. In this case we're just going to show you the battery condition test. We press enter. It's asking us what type of battery. Yes, it's a regular flooded lead acid battery. We're then looking at do we want it CCA or is it in some other type of standard. Most batteries in Australia are under CCA. Enter again and then we get the choice to change that. Once again you just use your up and down button. It moves very quickly. A single press of the button will move at 5 CCA. This is a 600 CCA amp hour battery so we want to test it there. And once it has a few seconds to calculate what's going on it then displays what's the condition of the battery. So what it's telling us here that it's in relatively good health, it's saying 81%, it's 100% charged because of the voltage that we've got and internal resistance there is 5.4 mega ohms. If we want to print this out then we just get enter again and it says do you really want to do that? Yep, we want to print that, give it a couple seconds and it'll print the results. We now have a, a record here um, which has got the time and the date up the top. It tells us the condition, the voltage, the percentage of health and internal resistance. So we can staple that to the job sheet, we can show the customer um, you know, if it was a faulty battery or a bad battery that needed replacement then you've got the evidence there to show him so. Um, the print paper, the thermal paper, is freely available at most news agents or large stationary outlets. And again, it's very easy to install and take out. You simply lift up this front cover here and the paper just drops in and then you close it again. So you haven't got to feed anything through. It's very, very easy to install.